Hey everyone, welcome back to Korea. It is CPL time because this is sort of the preparation that we're going to have, I guess, going into a test series uh, against Ireland. We're going to give ourselves every sort of opportunity with the bat uh, in this CPL. Um, and, and that's sort of the prep we're going to give us to, to make sure we're test ready. I'm not sure whether it's going to be the greatest technique. That is one of the most bizarre ram shots I've seen attempted. Uh, that's Shamar Brooks over there who has given that a crack. That's going to be a couple of boundaries, or a boundary. No, it's not. It's going to be saved in the field. I haven't made any sense in the first minute of this video, and I apologize. We've just come off the back of the 100, where I was absolutely awful. I was terrible. And if you don't think I was terrible, I averaged like se seven runs. Terrible. That guy's literally hit seven runs in the last two balls, or the last ball itself. But that's where we're looking at. That is a brilliant piece of fielding to save that. And so now we're attempting to, I guess, get back into form at short form level. We are obviously the T20 captain of Australia as well, which we've done a couple of times. So this shouldn't be too much of a challenge for us going back into another competition where, you know, T20 cricket is being played. The 100 was poor, but hopefully this is better. Now, we are going to be a specialist finisher in this competition because that's exactly what we need to try to learn to do. I'm trying to think, is this the best way of our strategy going forward? We need just eight runs here. That's almost gonna be four. It's only hit about a meter away from that man. We're gonna charge back for two. It's gonna cause a run out. Okay, that's gonna give me seven runs still needed. I don't even think I'm gonna be on strike, but I've just ran out of Evan Lewis because I'm a, an absolute dog. I should not have done that. That was very silly of me. Shadab Khan now will bowl to Drake's. We still only need a few runs. Um, but you never know if it's possible. Quick single dive. Nice. Six to win. And if I can hit this six, that'll really just give me a bit of confidence. Back. It's off the back foot. It's into the fence. It is six. It's game. And we are the finisher. We finish the job. That's the first of many, I feel. In this tournament, I think, I mean, apart from me running out my teammate, apart from that, I think we are going to be, uh, oh, not talking to this bloke because it really doesn't matter, does it? But we're going to try to be the finisher in this competition for the Patriots. We'll come in at six. We'll play that sort of Tim David role that he plays for Australia. And we'll just see how we go. Edge, gone, Puran, out. Big wicket, that's the third wicket in the opening seven overs. It's not quite three in the power play, but it could help us on our way to winning this one. Oh, it's close. I think it's going down. Three for 40. So we're rolling back in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We need 51 from 53. This is a perfect specialist finisher position to come in at, knowing that the work still needs to be done, but if you hit... Enough runs quickly. It's not going to matter who's left in the shed. They'll be able to finish the job. So a quick fire 30-odd here will win the game for us. We just need to get ourselves a few runs just to get off the strike, get off the mark, do a little bit of this, bit of that. Not running two there because we've run a few people out in the last couple of games. I mean, the required rate is only five and over. It's not as if I'm going to need to, you know, hit 60 from about 30 balls to win us the game. But it's, it's just a little nice little power hitting moment here. Good chance to bump up the net run rate of the team. Give ourselves a bit of timing form again. Is that sort of the stuff you want heading into a test match that's off the back foot? Could be a couple again. Outfield is pretty quick though. It's getting away from all the fielders. It's four more. Oh, yep. That's full. It's high. It was in the slot. And it's six. 96 meters that one. Moved to 19 from eight. And already, like this innings by itself has been better than pretty much everything we dished up in the 100. Which is crazy to think about that. But it just goes to show you how poorly we were in the 100 as a comp. I don't know what it was, whether it was just the, the quality of the opposition, the fact we didn't bat very much. Um, oh, that's a ripping delivery as well. It's uh, 4 for 119. Hit it straight. That was honestly a terribly timed shot. We're going to get away with two there. It's uh, 12 to win from the final five overs. Do we practice our sweeps? We're not very good at them normally. Oh! What is that? What is that? 
Going for six. It's a 50 partnership. Hang on, I wanted to see a replay of that. Show the replay of this shot. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely out of the middle. And hopefully, for the second game in a row, we have finished the job. St. Kitts. Win it again. Like, that's the type of cameo I want to see. 30 from 14. It's uh, four for one third out. Obviously, we're not chasing a heap, but we're looking for redemption this competition, everyone. We failed at the final hurdle last time. Not this time. I don't believe it. Uh, we're going to win. We're going to win this comp. On to the next. Yeah, I'll take the ball in the power play. Why not? Especially when we got three wickets. You got Shy Hope in. Another one would absolutely make the game very interesting. Got Guyana, three for 22. Hits. What a start it has been. That's going to be in the gap. Couple of runs. Perhaps a boundary coming up. It is four. I'm less concerned about our form with the ball. Actually, should I be more concerned? I suppose the T2, the, not the T2, the 100 comp, we was terrible with the ball. Like everything was getting hit to the boundary. We just were not economical at all. Maybe it was just a, a byproduct of the competition and spin just not being sort of a good. Thing on those sorts of wickets because um, we've, we've obviously proven ourselves as quite a good bowler across all formats um, it's just the challenge of can we sustain that through different competitions and obviously we when not like a Rashid Khan level of spin bowling yet anyway uh, so just you know Having quiet overs and a few wickets every now and then is okay. There was nine from that over. It's three for 31. Whoa, and the rest of the team absolutely cleaned them up with the ball. And now with the bat, we're going to come in once more. Four down yet again. 54 on the board. We need five to win. Wow, did we get them out for like 58? Anyway, first ball six out of the park. Game, set, match. We've chased this down in 7.4 overs. I've faced all of one ball. I I don't want to say it, but I'm the finisher. I finished the job again. That's three games in a row with the winning runs. Literally, the one ball I get is an awful full toss. A Shane Thomas, three for 17. Player of the game honors. Amazon Warriors, bowled out for 58. Let's take a look at their batting scorecard yet again quite quickly here. You can just see they went from, what was that? Four for 31, five for 43. 6 for 44, 7 for 48, 8 for 48, 9 for 48. There was a possible hat trick in there, but I'm not sure. Probably not. And then all that for 58 in 11.5 overs before we chased it down in 7.3. That's quite an incredible match. Uh, we've probably got time for one more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a start. That would have been as we come back into our next game. Once again, bowling first after winning the toss. Uh, this time we're coming up against Barbados. And uh, they started well against us. Graves got 13 runs. May is on 32. They're 1 for 60. It's been a decent start. I'm going to have to keep this heavily leg-sided because that's where my protection is on the field. He goes behind square, hits me for 6. Pretty quiet crowd in here today, though. Uh, but it is quite a short ground as well. Not a huge amount of grandstands around the park. So that's why we've got... Maybe a little bit less noise than usual. But I would have liked to hear maybe some, some drums going off, a bit of Caribbean vibe happening. Anyway, we'll see how we go with the ball. We'll bowl a couple of overs and then maybe we'll get an opportunity with the bat to see if we can once again finish the job. Uh, 10 from that over maybe? Yes, yes, 11 from it. Oh, bold. Gone for the sweep. Completely misjudged the bounce. And there's a big wicket. Have a look here. Lovely little wrong, and he's just gone underneath the ball. It's hit. Middle stump. Graves out for 20. It's two for 79. Oh, he's whipped it. Has he got it over that man? He has. Oh, it's actually gone for six. I thought that man was not too far back. Anyway, Mayers brings up his 50. Yep. There is no way he's done that. Three for 105. All right. I'm finishing this job. We need 120 of 70. That's my specialty. Let's go! Oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh, off the back foot, lovely four. I've really enjoyed this roll, to be fair. I mean, obviously, this is quite a big chase that we're going to need to try to pull off here. But apart from the fact that we've had a few 
lackluster performances in the, in the 100. The rest of our batting form has actually been really quite good leading up to this. We had a good series against the West Indies uh, in both tests and I think in, in the short form. Same thing against South Africa. Uh, then we came out of those. We played the PSL. We looked quite good in that. It was literally just the 100. It was the only bad series we played recently. And now that we're back in the CPL, we're the captain again. We've given ourselves every opportunity with the bat to hit um, some nice little innings to get us into form. And then obviously we'll go from there into these more power-filled uh, innings at the back end of the series. Oh no, we've been run out. Oh gee, I thought we were gonna get two here. The tag team tandem effort has it been my undoing. Good work behind the stumps. I think it's Jason Holder who's the keeper. That could cost us the game. Uh, in fact, I think it has. I don't think we've got there in the end. So, we do lose by 15 runs. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I was the finisher because we had finished a few games before that. Maybe that was too big of a task. It's actually just a run out, though, that's our undoing. That sucks. I, I hate getting out to run out. So, that is genuinely not what I would have wanted um, in this in this game, in this particular matchup. But there is still some good news for us. As you can see on the standings, we are three and one. We have got the competition under control at this very moment. Um, and I think that when we come back uh, in the next video and we smash out uh, a lot of the back end of this, this uh, CPL comp, we're actually gonna have a really good run. So thanks for watching today. Uh, we are starting to play into this different sort of a role in this comp and then maybe as the finals heat up we do open the batting and, and get a little bit more aggressive from there but I'm I'm liking especially during the regular part of the season just to, to going down a little bit on the order uh, which I think is really handy so I'm going to leave it there have a good one everyone I'll see you next time goodbye